Welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through the membership and subscription system that we offer in our software, as well as how to manage and make member content so that you can secure your content and not allow users to access it unless they've actually purchased uh, one of your products. So let's take a look and walk through this system. Uh, it's really powerful, really flexible system for selling digital downloads, music, videos, ebooks, um, PDFs, uh, but it can also be used to just simply sell regular retail uh, good and give customers access to content on your website. And you can control that very easily with EasyCart. So let's take a look at some of the requirements. Uh, if you want to sell uh, memberships, and these are subscriptions, they're recurring, uh, you want to bill automatically your customers for those every uh, month or week, then you have to use Stripe uh, as a payment gateway. So if you go to settings and to payments, uh, you'll notice you have a uh, third party and of course you need a license with this but you have 30 third party gateways but you also need to enable Stripe uh, for this to work because we have a lot of functionality in there uh, built around the subscriptions so that would be the first requirement so let's take a look now at setting up a product uh, you can see I have a store here uh, just some demo data running these are regular retail goods but I have one subscription set up here and the difference you'll see in subscriptions is the customers have to go through a sign up process uh, they're actually agreeing to have you bill them monthly uh, or weekly or however you set it up so when they sign up for them it's just a one page uh, simple application they walk through put in their billing information and their credit card and they submit the order so to, let's take a look at how we set that up it's a little bit different than a retail product if I take a look at a retail good of course they can add it to a shopping cart and that's a little different because it's a one-time purchase they just simply process the credit card so let's take a look at the difference in how to set up these two different products on your store and so we're going to jump over to products and I'm going to simply go down here to my test subscription and all this is is a regular product you set it up just like you would any other easy cart product titles SKUs price the only difference is when you scroll all the way to the bottom you can see subscription options and what you want to do is you want to turn this on as a subscription and this is going to actually build the subscription out at Stripe the payment gateway and so it's a little bit different than a retail product and that's why it's important you use Stripe as a payment gateway uh, you can set up different intervals uh, for example how many weeks months or years you want the recur bill uh, the billing duration you can set up you know do you want it to happen 20 times do you want to have a uh, bill three times you can set up a trial period for example if you want it to bill uh, every month but you want to give the customer 30 days to trial you can do that and it won't uh, bill the customer uh, until the 30 days is up uh, you can have an initial fee for example you want uh, uh, this product if we take a look at it the subscription is $24.99 or $95 and maybe you want to have a $10 setup fee so you could put that in here and the first time it bills it would be with that setup fee and then every other time it would be just that $24.95 uh, whether or not you want to allow multiple subscriptions um, sometimes people just want people to subscribe and, and purchase access pass to some content on their website in that case you would not want them to subscribe a bunch of times um, but maybe you have web hosting and you want customers to be able to come back and buy um, extra web hosting accounts in, in that case you would want to allow multiple subscriptions so the, um, pro rate uh, whether or not a customer when they upgrade or downgrade 
um, you want them to prorate. Uh, what we do is we have what are called stripe plans and to set those up uh, I'll show you real quick we jump over to our products and we go down here to subscription plans and they're very easy to set up you actually just give it a name um, let's say I'm doing web hosting and we want customers to have the ability to go from a silver gold and platinum plan and so we're gonna give them that option so I'm gonna set up my web hosting plan and I'll go back to my product and all that allows them to do we could just say that this is the silver plan and this is going to be a part of the web hosting plan and you can set up three different subscriptions this way and customers then have the option in their account to simply upgrade maybe I'm on a bronze hosting plan and I want to quickly upgrade to the silver um, they can just do that and pro rating will happen as well so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit update subscription we also have a membership URL and this is if you have content that you want this user to have access to and I'll talk about that a little bit later as well so this is essentially a subscription setup and that's all it takes to to create that um, in EasyCart and if we jump over here uh, again you notice the difference they have a sign up button versus regular products where they go in and add it to a shopping cart so let's take a look at what this looks like now if I click on it this is the description of it I can go ahead and hit sign up now and I've got some information in here I'm just gonna go through and put in a test credit card and I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this item and now the person has uh, purchased a subscription in your system and you can see this uh, if you jump over to your orders you'll notice this is what it looks like it looks like just any other order that came through the system you can see this is order number 14 and this is order number 14 right here and so when you look at it and view it uh, every month you'll see that come through just like a regular order you will also be able to manage their subscriptions so if you come over here and we have orders we can go to subscriptions and you can see that this is my order it's active it's not canceled and I can edit this order or this subscription and I can see okay this person has one order so far it's gonna rebill um, the next payments gonna be May 28th uh, or May 12th one one month away and so you can kind of track and manage this as well as cancel the subscription and all of this is tied in with stripe so it makes it very very easy to manage directly from your panel uh, you can even switch a user to a different subscription and that all ties in with stripe as well so good information when you are managing subscriptions or membership content and your orders we have those two panels in our system uh, already ready to go so that's how that works now the next question people always have is okay I sell a subscription I want to give them something unique or special um, we recommend there's lots of ways to do this and it doesn't have to be with subscriptions you can sell just a retail product you can just sell you know hey if you bought a t-shirt you get access to these videos or this music or whatever um, so this would be the members area let's let's say we want to have customers click on this uh, when they purchase something and so what we'll do let's take a look if I click on this actually I'm gonna go to my account and I'm gonna go ahead and sign out uh, we want this members area to be secure so I'm logged out I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it we wanna have 
customers with this hey I'm not a member or am I a member um, do I need to purchase something to get into this area or do I need to just go ahead and log in and so what this does is let you you can create your own custom page here and you can do whatever you want I'll take show you what that looks like so I'm gonna go over to pages and all I did was create a members page and not a members page and if it's not a member all I did was simply use my theme and I just created two uh, sections two columns and I think it's a good idea to have this uh, allow people who click on it to purchase and if somebody comes to that member area but they're just not logged in it's nice to go ahead and do that and I just redirect users to their account so I just have them go to the account login page so I click on members area hey I'm already a member okay I need to log in so I click here and I get access to log in so that's what that not a member page would look like okay if I am a member what I did is simply created a, a WordPress page and this is the special content and you can do anything you want on this page you can add videos you can have download links um, you can you can sell your or push out ebooks um, or, or whatever uh, this makes it pretty unlimited in terms of what you want in the member area the key here is over in the right hand panel uh, you'll notice we have several options that we can restrict this by and what I do is I simply restrict by our membership we can also restrict by users and you could hold down the shift key and select them as well but I'm gonna go ahead and just do uh, this restrict by product so they have to have purchased my subscription um, we also have user roles uh, so if you have you know wholesalers uh, or whatever in terms of a user role you can give them access and then we have a URL if they are not authorized I'm gonna send them to that not a member page that we created and that's all you have to do to lock down this page uh, from users so I'm not logged in I click on members area I see this page if I log in I'm gonna go ahead and log in here and remember we purchased that test subscription so we have an active membership here if I click on members area you'll notice I now see that special content whatever that might be um, so that this is a really cool feature and the other thing to keep in mind is they don't have to be subscriptions um, they could be just a regular product maybe if somebody purchased this Heather shirt or a printed top I can give those people access or I could come in here and say okay I just want you know these two people to have access to this content uh, makes it really flexible in terms of deploying um, this kind of content so really powerful feature in the system uh, you can run subscriptions and set those up very easily but you have to use stripe um, if you want to sell just regular goods that's fine too and what you can do is create members area content like this and you can use our sidebar feature to lock down and limit access as well as redirect users to to not authenticated information so um, hopefully that solves any questions people have if you do have more uh, we have some documentation on all of these sections uh, again if you're inside of an area in easy cart uh, for example if I'm inside of a product here and I want to go ahead and find information just look for these icons the little videos or the little blue icons and that takes you out to our help documentation um, if you Oh, one other thing that people often like too is the ability to add notes uh, because if you sell a subscription and you want to give them access to where that content is we have three new areas now um, order completed notes and order email notes and order details 
and these three note areas are just text boxes but they let you add custom information such as hey you just purchased a subscription why don't you jump over here and view uh, the membership content and you can give them links and stuff uh, again this will show up on the order completed section uh, this will show up in the email and this shows up in the user's account um, if you want to have special notes inside of this area as well so that's how our subscriptions work um, you know customers uh, as a customer who purchased a subscription uh, I can always come into my account I can manage my subscription I can view the details of my active subscriptions or my canceled ones um, if I view details of my subscription I'm able to update my billing information I can upgrade and downgrade plans and so there's just so much flexibility uh, when you get into the system with EasyCart and it's in our professional and our premium editions um, a lot of customers might not even know that this kind of powerful feature exists uh, but it's definitely worth getting um, as a lot of other software is expensive to do this kind of stuff so again check it out more uh, more questions please let us know um, you can email us at sales at wpeasycart.com or check out our website at wpeasycart.com thank you